We promised it last week, and it's here today. That's right. That's how we roll. The first video episode <laughs> of Recap Attack. That's right. Um, Give it to me right here. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sound it makes. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I'm Amir. I'm Sergio. And uh, together, with our powers combined, we, we don't form Captain Planet. We form Voltron. Fuck yeah. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> you guys might remember me, yeah, from uh, the videos that we think the last time you saw me was during the BitBlick thing we were doing. And with, uh, was it Rage was the last one? Rage was the last one, yeah. Yeah, because we did Gears, and then we did Rage. And I'm like, half hidden. Yeah, by this thing. There, there we go. Um, People need to to see this. Hold on. Um, oh. There you go. Uh, this, under the button. That, oh, wait, that's no. for that's for you, ladies and gentlemen, sir. <laughs> and sir. <laughs> and sir. Look uh, at my cat. <laughs> so cute. Um, no, I was gonna say last time you saw me, I had short hair. I'm growing my hair out. I think it looks pretty good so far. I didn't really do anything with it, but it's. It's brushed, I guess. You La- say. Last time they they saw me was at the beginning of my um, my nineteen fifties style haircut that was almost like a like a like a faux faux hawk, but then it devolved into Rihanna. Right, right. And now it's the Mitt Romney. The Mitt Romney. <laughs> I like the wave in front. You look <laughs> you look Republican. <laughs> uh, I, no, I need to trim the top. Because, like, I like the way it looked when I first did it. The first time where I buzzed the sides and left the top long. Right. It looked good. It looked like like a haircut out of Mad Men. And that's what I wanted. So when you get mad and you jerk your head, it just, like, flies just, just, the Yeah, place. just the top goes. <laughs> just the top goes. Just the top goes. There you go. But then, you know, you can put, like, some product in it and it goes back and it there stays. Right. But, now, but now... But <laughs> yeah, now, yeah, now it's unruly. Right. Um, but anyway. Yes. Going um, off here. We, we got off on We got it. excited about the video. People are looking at us. I, I know. I get excited every time. We, That's why we, we do karaoke, too. Yeah. We made, uh, well, I did. Right. I made money with our other, yeah. with our other Amir, video. Yeah, Amir made money. Okay. I'm, I'm surprised, shocked, and happy. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no. M- like 10 cents. 10 well, cents. it's probably gone up now. I don't want to look it up. 20 cents. Okay. We're gonna, I'm gonna eyeball it. You're gonna, you're gonna ball? I'm gonna say 20 cents. Anyway, yeah, if you've been following us on YouTube, which you should. You should. Although you would have found this out if you followed me or our Twitter or my Tumblr. Anything but me. The, the Facebook, <laughs> Facebook, the actual yeah. site, anything aside from him. Right, because I don't really tweet about much. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Just... You would have seen that I, I uh, started. There's two episodes of it, of a show, Recap Bites. Mm-hmm. It's, a t- it's a bi-week, I'm aiming for bi-weekly. You're going to do bi-weekly? I'm aiming for bi-weekly, which is going to be this a tough good. schedule. This is good. But I'm aiming for bi-weekly because there's just, there's too much news, and it's a short show. Right, I mean, it's like three minutes long. It's like, yeah, it's like three to four minutes long. It's a bi-weekly tech show, just covering like big stories that happened, you know, throughout the week. Um... Yeah, it was good. It's it kind of like at one point, like I accidentally like channeled some Stephen Colbert. Oh, did you? Yeah, with the other brothers thing. Oh right, yeah. yeah. I did see that. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, that 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 one just happened by accident. It was good. It was good. Very good. I liked it. Kiwi Kiwi said that uh, he liked it. He's like his only comment criticism was like, "You'll uh, you'll get more comfortable in front of the camera soon." Right. Okay. I think we're all a little like that. I. I mean, we we haven't really been in front of the camera. We've definitely been in front of crowds. Yeah, uh, but not not the camera. I think the camera does something to people sometimes. It, it's it, because it's soulless. And it's watching. It's watching, and they're like, we we probably should like. The only problem is like, I want to get Jose here, and it's like, when I do recap bites, it's it's just me, so I can kind of like schedule when right. it's gonna happen. But for us, it's like when we can get the time to do it exactly. is when we do it, it's, and it's all like. It's, Last minute. It's always getting hectic lately. It's, it, it, I blame my computer. Yeah, it used to be that we had it. You come over Sunday, we figure out the stories, plan. Yeah. Then Monday morning, you come back over and right. we record. That's right. 
Okay. And it's just been difficult ever since the computer went down. And we have a lot of things going on right now. Yeah. Not just the show. I mean, I don't mean to make excuses, but it's some things I can't help. Yeah, it li- life gets in the way. It does. Life, life is hectic. Uh, to be honest, I would much rather be doing the show. Like, I enjoy our time together. <laughs> <laughs> so romantic. I know. So sweet. <laughs> no, I have a, f- a lot of fun doing this. I hope to yeah. do it a really long time. I would like to do a little short like Amir or even get involved with um, some of the more video things that are going on. But yeah, we'll see as things go. See what happens. Yeah, we'll see. But uh, it's been good. Maybe one day we'll have Jose as like a full time cameraman. If you don't know Jose, we've mentioned him before, mm-hmm. I think. Yeah. Uh, DJ yeah. Mojo eighty five on YouTube. Mm-hmm. He does let's plays of arcade games. Right. He's that got, he, he's in his house. That, that yeah. That he he buys and fixes arcade machines. So and while he has them, he does let's plays with them. Yeah. So, uh, check that out. It's very cool. It is cool. But anyway, um, jumping into news. Anyway, yeah, we we got off we got off track. Anyway, um, so yeah, get into it. Um, so yesterday, Facebook filed for its IPO, mm-hmm. which and, is and my wife mistook Mark Zuckerberg for a friend of ours named Ben Ben Ho- <laughs> Hoflinger. Yep, that's his actual name. Yep. Hoflinger. Um, but yeah, uh, filed for its five billion dollar IPO. IPO stands for Initial Public Offering, mm-hmm. which means that for the first time ever, people will be able to purchase Facebook stock, uh, the public will. Right. Okay, so it's no longer uh, closed to uh, VCs, angel investors, buddies of Mark Zuckerberg. Right. Okay, uh, whatever that. Uh, I, depending on what price... You might do it. The individual stocks end up settling at once it's all done. Right. Yeah, I I believe in Facebook as a company. Yeah, I do too. Like this, I... Like I knew they were going to IPO. Anyone who didn't think they were going to IPO was an idiot. Definitely. Okay. They were definitely going to IPO. I expected that they were going to IPO around a time when they were going to get big into search. Because it's definitely they're they're gunning for, for uh, for Google's uh, Google share in the internet when it comes mm-hmm. to ads, and I definitely thought <clears throat> search the way that they're managing everyone's likes and everything like that they're going to give you a more relevant search. Right. Okay. But uh, what they ended up doing was timeline. Right. Which they're still probably going to do all that other stuff. Right. But timeline was the big product, and that's you wanna you wanna lead into an IPO with a major launch, and I think timeline is a perfect one that kind of rebrands the company as what it is. Yeah, definitely. Which is a personalized social tool. Okay. I love timeline, I, and I hate everyone that complains about every single Facebook update change. Oh my god. <laughs> Now I got like this sidebar so I can always see my contacts. Oh no. <laughs> like it like it is like there's only I had do have one nitpick about it. Like What's I went like I hate the way that it's sorted. Mm-hmm. Like it's sorted alphabetically, I get that. Right. Okay, but like I wish but it also sorts on top the people that I have the like it thinks I have the most contact with. Mm-hmm. And just looking at it, it's like that's wrong. It is wrong. Okay, it's like because, like, Lish is right here, and I talk to Lish once on Facebook chat, okay? <laughs> and I don't, like, interact with her that much well, yeah, in any I other mean, thing. I what, what I wanted it to do is I wanted it to have different circles, and then, like, your close friends or family is at the top. Like, you know. Yeah, your different, different your, your different lists. <laughs> or I'd even be fine if, like, this was independent, and I could just say, hey, like, put these people here yeah. that, I, that I really want to talk to. Okay, and, like, let me sort the order. Because, like, here, you're, like, right there. Mm. When, realistically, you're probably the person I talk to the most on here. Right. So you pro- probably should be on top. And right. then Emma would probably be below you. Mm-hmm. And then, like, Trey might be there. Tina wouldn't. Uh, 
never talk to him on this, never talk to him on this, never talk to him on this, never talk to her on this, never talk to him on this, uh, never talk to her on this. Right, right. Never talk to him. Either way, like, yeah. Yeah, I, it's like all these people, and then it's like, and then here's more. Right. And I mean, I get it, but at the same time, yeah, they need to divide it a little bit. Better. Yeah, it's like these aren't my most contacted people by any means, but whatever. Yeah. Oh, no, it's difficult. <laughs> You know what's also hard? Space travel. It is. We did that shit. Well, we did that shit. Yes, well, right? to the moon. It's still space travel. We traveled in space to get to the moon. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so they I, they IPO'd, uh, like, I, I think that's cool. I'm I'm glad for, for Facebook. Like, people bitch all the time about, oh, Mark Zuckerberg, they're an evil corporation. They're trying to find everything out about you. It's like... No, they're not. It's like, okay, but... Like Google is also like owns all of your information. Like yeah. if you you're buying into to two companies because mm-hmm. the internet right now is is Google or it's Facebook mm-hmm. or some merging of the two. Like we all use other services, of course, but okay, if you if you uh, have email and you're at all savvy, you probably have a Gmail account. Oh yeah, definitely. And your Gmail account has saves every email. Mm-hmm. Okay. It saves every contact yep. with every person, so it's got your contacts there. Okay, it'll automatically create for you a Google Plus account. Yep. It's your YouTube account. Yep. It's your if you use a calendar, it's your calendar. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's it's everything. Right. Okay, and they read all your shit. Like not a person, but a computer does read your shit to target ads. Yep. That's why you bring up Gmail and you see <coughs> oh, like someone mentioned. Uh, like vacation, and then like a thing for like hotels.com shows up on the side. Yeah, I have I have an, I have a complaint about that though. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't get the ads right for me. Doesn't. No. And I don't know what it is. I'm gonna I'm just gonna open. You keep going. I'm yeah, gonna open. I don't, for I don't know email. what it is. I I've heard of this. It gets the ads right for a lot of people because they're like, oh yeah, I did click on that, or I did look into this, or occasionally it gets mine right, but for the most part, it sends me these. Weird ads all the time, like a lot of them. Well, this one I chose an unfair email. There's no way I could have figured out what to do with that. <laughs> um, however, they did. When I did that one thing, uh, Emma posted uh, how it nailed your your sex and age. Right, and that, that one. It that, got that, that one hit the nail on the head. That it, one got it knew that one exactly who I was. It got. It said I was a little younger really? by a year. Yeah. It said you're like 18 to 24. I'm 25. No, it, it hit me dead on. But, okay, but it's like you're a dude. Okay, like definitely. Like I just there's one one time. There was just one. There was one thing that was part. It's like you're into rainbows. I'm like what? <laughs> and I was like, it's like I don't mind a rain. I'm not anti rainbow. You're no, you're into rainbows. But I'm not in like I've never never been like fuck yeah. I gotta look at this rainbows. <laughs> okay. You were you were one of the people that cried at the double rainbow too, didn't you? I would. No, I've seen enough double riding. Yeah, cry. we were they we were, were outside. We, your were, we were. We were. <laughs> you saw a double rainbow. You're like, hey, double rainbow. I don't remember you crying. I at didn't all. cry, but it was awesome. It was awesome. It was awesome. Because I didn't think I'd actually see one. I'm gonna put it, this on silent because it rained a bit ago. Oh, sweet. <laughs> um, no, it, it's just some of the ads that they send. Uh, one of them was like, whoa, I don't need any of this jazz. <laughs> 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 and I said it like that too. I looked whoa. at my screen and I was like, "Whoa, I don't need any of this jazz." Oh, okay, that reminds me. It's for the little blue pill. I was watching. Like I told you earlier, I was watching Gun Sword, that anime. Right. Yeah. And there's this episode where there's like this French <clears throat> sea captain, and he's in the bathroom and he yells to the main character. And he's like, "You don't know that he's French, but he doesn't sound like a Frenchman." Okay, but he's like. Hey, can you hand me some toilet paper? Okay, and the guy's like, shouldn't you have checked that before you got in there? And he's like, where's the fun in that? <laughs> okay. And then he, the guy answered to him, he's like, merci beaucoup. And then when he gets out after taking a dump, he like is doing his fly, he's like, yeah, baby. Yeah. Okay, and it's just like, that's the weirdest way to, like, to take a shit. But... That's what you sounded like. Oh, okay. okay. I was wondering where you were going. With Reading that. that email. All right, no. Um, you you were that dude. Yeah, it, it was for the little blue pill. Yeah, Viagra. We yeah. can say that. No, I can't. <laughs> no, I can't. I know. It's just it was really weird. I it was like, hey, you need Viagra. I'm like, I do. 
I was like, we, our, according to our uh, research, <laughs> yes, you do. You've looked into it. I'm like, I don't remember looking into this at all. Yeah, and it's like, um, it's you ever get those and you're like you're in the middle of like a hard on. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> you like wake up in the morning, you got morning wood. Okay. Okay, you check your email, and it's like, you need Viagra? Oh, okay. And it's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I've never happened to me, actually. I, I most certainly do not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, there was another one I got one time for um, vacations in South Africa. And I don't want to go to South Africa. No, who does? Uh, the only thing I could think of is because maybe I looked up, I used Google to look up the di- one of the Diet Words videos once, and it was like, oh, you love Diet Word, why don't you go to South Africa? And I was like, not really? No, no look, thanks. Look, <clears throat> so for someone, it's doing it right, because they make billions off their well, definitely. Ads. I mean, I'm just saying that I want to say half the time they get it wrong. And I'm and I, I'm guessing that's going to happen with some people here and there. And was it? I think Facebook is um, like eighty percent is their ads. Like eighty percent of their uh, income is ads, and like twelve percent is Zynga. <laughs> fuck Zynga. But yeah, seriously, fuck Zynga. Mostly uh, because games, work games like shit. run like shit. Games run like I shit. I can't. Words with friends on this, and this is the newest tablet. Nook tablet. Nook tablet, right here. One dual core, one gigahertz, one gig RAM. Runs like fucking garbage. You know it doesn't Words run like garbage? Friends. Runs on like garbage. But you know it doesn't run like garbage? Dead Space. Dead Space on here runs like a fucking charm. So if Dead Space... And Counter-Strike. And Counter-Strike. So if Dead Space and Counter-Strike can run on this thing with no charm, why does Words with Friends run like garbage? I want to know that. I don't know. Oh, really? Even Sega's new game, Fallen Realms, that's had a lot of lag issues, runs better than Words with Friends on my Nook tablet. Yeah, they go for, uh, what is it, quantity, not quality. Well, I uninstalled it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, ab- I'm about to. Like, my phone has been, like, beeping me. It's like, you're forfeiting matches left and right. I'm like, I really don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. It's, it's Z- Zynga runs like fucking crap. Yeah. Everything they make runs like garbage. Even when I had my computer... And I'd play some of the Zynga games. Like, why is this run like garbage? It, it doesn't make sense to me. Okay, okay, Desktop Defender. Is that made by Zynga? No, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Runs great. Zynga games. Garbage. Mm. I can't play that. I don't want to play that. I don't want to have to sit there and have to worry about timing and lag and all this other shit. You don't have to do it once with friends, but when I sit there and try to pull a fucking tile five times on a Nook fucking tablet, there's, this, there's a tip. Something's up. I hate you saying it. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to get into that real quick. Oh, that's fine. <clears throat> that's fine. But speaking of, and I think this is a good segue because we got okay. into mobile apps. All right. There's a mobile app. It's not out yet. All right. But I want to bring some attention to it because there's an app for Mac that I use. Mm-hmm. Uh, I haven't used it in a little while, but uh, I used to use it a lot and I will probably get back to it. Uh, called Sparrow. Right. And Sparrow is an email client. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mac only. And it gives, like, the best Gmail experience outside of being in Gmail you could ask for. Mm-hmm. And it has this really cool stuff where it, like, integrates with Facebook so that if your buddy sends you an email, it pulls their picture. Right. On <clears throat> Facebook. So, like, when you send me an email, obviously, oh, there's, there's Sergio. It, right. Like, it's something so minor. Mm-hmm. But it somehow really adds a lot to yep. the to the experience. Anyway, love the thing, love the client, works great. They've been teasing uh, an iPhone version, which uh, before this would be an iOS version of it would have been impossible, right? Because they did not allow uh, duplicate functionality on the phone. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know, since they started easing up on browsers, they figured, hey. We'll try email, and then of course Google released their Gmail client, which I went back to. Like another quick aside, I went back to it because there were so many times that I just wanted to get to my starred or important messages, mm-hmm. and there's just no good way to do that with the uh, <clears throat> built-in email client. So, just dis- right. like re- despite the limitations of the Gmail app, like it, it just that little extra more functionality is 
so needed. And I, when Sparrow comes out, I'm going to switch to that full time because that's going to be great. Right. But the reason I'm bringing it up, you just you just wish you had that right there. Right? So. I wish it was a little bit more like that. I honestly wish it was like an ice cream sandwich. Right. Because ice cream sandwiches Gmail uh, Gmail app is fucking phenomenal. Mm. Okay. And like, I, I'm like jealous over their their email client. No. And then we both want to say, or I, at least I want to say, ice cream sandwich sandwich looks amazing, and I can't wait for it. Um, and I'm a fan of both iOS Down. and Android. I've never been able to like choose sides very well. Um, lately, it's been more iOS, definitely. But with all the new stuff that's coming up with Ice Cream Sandwich, it just looks like it's amazing. Yeah. And obviously, I'm running Android Nook, right? So yeah, and your phone's Android. <clears throat> My phone is Android, too. So, I mean, I've kind of chosen a side, mostly because of price. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no, I'm starting to just... I'm, I love Android, too, so... Yeah. But, uh... So... There, they went into beta, mm -hmm. like yesterday, right. and there was some leaked screenshots. I don't know if they're real. I suspect they were because they were pulled. Right. Okay, and I can't find them anywhere else except for uh, Google's cache. Um, but they were there, and they were pulled, and they had, like, if looking at the Mac app, they definitely took a lot from the... Tweety for Mac mm -hmm. client, the uh, Twitter for Twitter client, uh, designed by Lauren Brichter, uh, and the app, the mo uh, mobile app, definitely <coughs> borrowed from the original Tweety in that it has this feature where you can flick an email mm -hmm. to get access to quick shortcuts. Right. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because two years ago, almost. I remember this. I was there. Yeah. Two years ago. I was looking at, like, iOS 4 was, like, just barely being announced, okay? And they were showing, like, we've got enhanced email with threads, okay, and, you know, whatever. But I was like, it's still shit. So I drew, wrote up a thing, and I drew, like, a little shitty mock-up mm -hmm. of what I wanted. And it was basically, my whole premise was, it should be more like Tweety. Right. Okay. Uh, it, should ta it should borrow from Lauren Brechter's work. Yeah. Okay. And I drew up a thing that had that flick thing, mm -hmm. and now it's finally happening. Yeah. And I'm really glad because I had sent that to Scott Forstall, the VP of I of iOS development. Never right. got a response, but whatever. I'm glad to see that m m that that idea is is being validated. Yeah. It's I'm I'm certain like obviously sp the people at Sparrow didn't like read my article and be like we're gonna take that guy's idea. Maybe they did, but they probably didn't. Right. Okay, uh, they probably just, they saw Lauren Brichter's work, mm -hmm. who used to work at Apple, by the way. Right. Okay, and said, <clears throat> hey, he's got really great ideas. We should apply this to more things because it's so natural. Yeah. And it's exactly what I thought. So I'm glad to see that my idea is being validated by a big company that I actually like and I use their product. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. Big, big plus for me. Yeah, I know definitely. what I'm talking about. When I, when I write something, you're like, fuck that guy. No. Proven now. Nailed it. Right nailed it. What? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. But uh, we should we should switch up subjects. All right. Okay. You you got one here. I got one here that you've been like fiddling with. Yeah, because it caught my eye and it's stupid, and I've been looking at this woman's face. I I don't you know maybe maybe when she's not making that face she does her hair better maybe she's an attractive woman I don't well, I wasn't think so. looking at her because she's attractive <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at her because she looks fucking nuts and she's holding donuts but um, well see the donut thing kind of makes her already more attractive I don't know you can't see her lower half yeah but you know she she's good up until you eat past the donuts then we'll we'll talk <laughs> we'll talk about that. Okay, we'll see. We'll see what we see when we see it. Yeah. Anyway, so what what's this about? This one is scientists say sugar is just as toxic as alcohol, mm -hmm. and there should be a drinking age for soda. Isn't that wonderful. Yeah, drink that. That's bullshit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it is bullshit. Um, I I think it's ridiculous, but. According to I mean, the, it's like according to the UC San Francisco, yeah, UC San Francisco uh, pediatric uh, care, it, 
it's that dangerous to children. They're saying that they, they want to push for a drinking age on soda. They don't say the age, though, which I think is funny. And this is, I think we've talked about this before, but they also are the same people that are also pushing the tax on soda as well. Well, what, <clears throat> like, what are they saying? Like, at what ages is it bad? Like, at all ages? At all ages. It's just toxic? It's just toxic because the amount of levels, of amount of sugar, the amount of sugar levels, I'm sorry, um, well, like soda. Well, like, but what, like... Like, you drink alcohol. Right. We all know it has a variety of effects. Right. Okay, you get you get drunk, you make you might make some bad decisions, the inhibitions go down. But aside from all that, it damages uh, brain cells and it right. ruins your liver with enough use. Right. They're saying this, the sugar can also ruin your liver. Really? Uh, yeah. I am fucked. <laughs> uh, that fructose and other sugars can cause liver toxicity, among other chronic diseases. <clears throat> Yes. Wow. Uh, like, cause you know me, and so like I don't, I don't drink beer not because I don't, cause I want to be healthy. Right. But because uh, I just, it, whatever. Right. It's not for me. Um. But. But I drink soda like crazy. Right. Well, and I think that's what the problem is is we drink too much. Yeah. I mean, I try and drink like a bunch of water. Like I try and drink like that gallon thing of water right. like a day. And and. But that, but that's the thing is that I think what they're saying at the levels that we're drinking, it's toxic. I think that's what they're trying to say, and they're just disguising it because it's like we can't get them to stop drinking that much. Yeah, it, it's just like you're gonna drink it. It, it's such like a thing now. Yeah, it's it's, okay. it's pop culture. Like okay. it's everywhere. Okay, it's like you can't <clears throat> escape it. Like you can't walk down the street without seeing. You can't go to the theater without a Coca Cola commercial. You can't. Okay, uh, you can't see like. A like a pop star music video without Pepsi, or you can't see any sporting event now without Mountain Dew everywhere. Right, exactly. Okay, it's like it's a it's a thing, and like in my case, uh, I come from a family that drinks soda like ridiculous. Like, yeah, well, that's that's that was the problem with my family is that they were alcoholics and they drink soda like crazy. Yeah, and all of the men in my family, <laughs> except for me, right here. Have diabetes, <laughs> and they got it all at an early age, probably around my age. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so that's the reason why it's it it's a combination of how much we drink, and also you're an alcoholic, and I'm sure it has a lot to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, yeah. So I mean, like, I guess I mean, whatever the equivalent is for soda, mm -hmm. I am. That, like, for alcoholic? I'm sure it's, like, a lot more, but because we consume so much, yeah. it, it's like, well, you might as well be drinking alcohol at this point. Well, it, with the exception of, you know... You're, the, not, get, you're not getting drunk. With, I mean, it didn't, it didn't say it actually destroys any brain tissue or anything, right? but it does attack the liver for sure. They found that out. I'm fine with that. I'm going to say, I, like, I'm, no, I'm no scientist, but I was in the College of Science. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um... But I'm going to say it doesn't damage the brain because the, the body needs sugar and the brain needs sugar. Exactly. And it's mainlining <clears throat> sugar into me. Right. Okay. Uh, that's why I prefer the, the sweeter beverages right, right. over the bitter. Because mm -hmm. uh, it gets blood flowing yeah. to the, to the noggin, straight, to the noodle. Drink that soda. Fuck it. Just slam it. <laughs> okay. Pe Pepsi is a good breakfast. It's, all, it's, <clears throat> it's almost like a bread. Might as well be bread. You fry some Pepsi. Oh my god! You would never eat it because you don't drink soda. I don't drink soda yeah. anymore. And even if you did, it'd be like some Dr Pepper bullshit. I love Dr Pepper. It's disgusting. Well, I used to. I used to be a Dr Pepper fan like crazy. But then I stopped drinking soda. Started getting healthier. Don't drink so much. Occasionally, I'd have a little bit. I I'm gonna say we're about e uh, equally healthy. I don't know. You're just I, more. I, you're I just more. Say, you're just more fit. I want to say my my uh, blood sugar levels definitely lower than yours. Probably. Okay. I, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to say that one. I'm going to say my, my stress levels is lower. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <it's> <laughs> I mean, there's balances left and right. So, yeah, okay, like my, 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 heart, my heart beats a little faster. Your heart beats a little slower. Both not great. Right. Well, my, well I don't know uh, because Muhammad Ali's heartbeat was 55 BPM. He's got Parkinson's now. Well, 
when he was. I mean, I'm not saying that one caused the <laughs> other, but I'm just saying no, he has Parkinson's. I, I had mine <laughs> in my peak because I don't really work out as much as I used to. Uh, I I was really close to that. I was like 57 BPM. Yeah, so yeah, that's, and, that's not good. And right now I'm like at 63. What was I last time? You were way high, dude. You <laughs> scare me every time we check it. You and Tracy. <laughs> you guys are like in the 80s. It's just like, I feel like, fine. Like, well, I'm like, sure, but it just scares me because the average... Like, it feels beat, slow as shit right now. The, the average heartbeat... You know what I think it is? I think when we get in there... You get nervous? I get like, nervous. <laughs> like, I'm like, I wonder what this shit's going to be. And it just goes higher. Because right now, it's like... <clears throat> that, means, that means if I get nervous when I go in, my It's like this right now. My heartbeat's lower. This is mine right now. Wait, it slowed down. Now it's... Oh shit, we synced up. <laughs> 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 yeah, but yeah, mine... Maybe that's it. I don't know. But I know for sure... Yeah, you, know, you know what it is? What? My heart did sync up because your heart uh, syncs up to, uh, to beats and rhythms. Oh shit. So the fact that you were doing that caused me to sync <laughs> to it. No, it, so if I was, like, tapping or, like, playing the drums, your heart would beat faster. Maybe. We'll have to test this sometime. We get one of those things and just <laughs> sit at it for, like, 20 minutes. Yeah. And then they'll kick us out. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? They're like, you try put, to, I want to get healthy. Yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm more fit than you, but it, it's hard. Look, I can bench press a baby. I, I, I'm still surprised I can lift 45 pounds, or I can curl 45 pounds. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I can lift a lot more than 45 I, pounds. <laughs> no, I used to be able to curl 50 pounds pretty easily. Yeah. Because uh, I had to do it at the restaurant. I used to just grab the rice bags and just, like, haul them around like nothing. Um, and then, since I'm not really working out now, like, I can still curl 45, but it's difficult. And I tried to curl 50, and I got it, like, halfway. And I'm like, nope, this is How happening. heavy would you say, a com like, <clears throat> a re a, like, a regular computer is, like, a desktop the tower with the keyboard and mouse, like, in a box. Um, not counting the monitor? No, no, no monitor. About 30 pounds. Okay. Because uh, I remember one time at Circuit City. Yeah. Back at that old place. Right. Circuit City. Okay. You motherfuckers. Uh, <laughs> I was getting computer down, and I went like this, and then, like, my arm locked like that, and, like... I could not for the life of me, like, because it's just locked. I'm like, I'm like, it doesn't hurt. I'm not losing balance, but I can't like do this. <laughs> no, I think it's about thirty pounds. Okay, anymore. I was like, I'm like this is stuck. This is locked in. So like, it was there. Like, I was like using the rest of my body to kind of like wedge it to like give myself some leverage to like get my arm right. Because I was like, I'm fucked right now. <laughs> yeah. Like, I can't. Well, it was probably the angle too. I can't it's move down a certain way. Yeah. So. Uh, no, my, my... Never picked anything up like that again. <laughs> my fa my <laughs> best one, uh, when I first... When the first day, I remember I did this with Jacob. Mm -hmm. We went we went to... Uh, where the hell did we go? I don't... Mars. We went to Mars. And we were going to try 50-pound weights because we were both like, yeah, yeah, we could do this. We could it was do like this. a gym? Yeah, or... no, it wasn't a gym. It was the... Um, he took me to... What was it? The Ballet Total Fitness that used to be over there. Yeah. Gay. We got all Ballet. Okay. Anyway... Um, so we try the 50 pound weights and we're sitting there. We're like, yeah, we're doing this. We're doing this. We're doing this. We're getting, getting into it. And we're like, okay, we're going to go a little more cause I don't feel so bad. Right. The next day felt like shit. No, I felt amazing. And right. so did he, but we both had the same problem. We could not bend our arms straight. We were like this for the next three days. We could not do this. See, we See, couldn't do this. This, this, <laughs> when you can't do this is when you fucked up. Yeah, I did. We definitely okay. fucked up that time. Okay, that's like, when you that, we're lucky and, we didn't and, cause any damage. And when you can't like Well, I was always able to still do that. When you can't do that, I was always you, you fucked up. Yeah. I was always still able to do that. But oh. I'm saying like just for the next three days, because we were so sore, mm -hmm. like if we like pushed on our arms, they bend. But because we've had like just pushed them over the limit for that day, for the next three days, we were like <laughs> this. So we were in the kitchen like trying to cook. It was just, it looks so funny. Like T-Rexes. Yeah, we were. We were T-Rexes for the next three days <laughs> working in a kitchen. And if you guys ever worked in a kitchen. You, you, need, know you need your arms. You need your arms. You know that's really bad news right Like there. I've never worked in a kitchen, but I've cooked food in my own kitchen. <laughs> and like being stuck like this would be bullshit. It, it was <laughs> bullshit. Um, but yeah, we, we got off. 
going to do a health thing there, but still pretty fun. Yeah. Um, um, what else we got? Uh, Kaz Hara. This is a tech heavy. It is a little tech heavy. Yeah. Episode. Uh, I guess we know some stuff that happened in politics. We'll, 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 yeah, we'll talk about that. We'll go about that. Um, <clears throat> but but yeah, we'll get this one Sony, out. I guess this is, you can ca- classify this as business. It just happens to be about a tech company. Right, right. But it is business. But as, as a lot of you know, if you keep up with the tech world, I mean, even I have heard about this, and I have been kind of out of touch. Sony's in the shitter. Sony's totally in the shitter. Right okay. Now. Sony, Sony in the 90s was synonymous with innovation. Yeah. And then as soon as we got into the aughts, it fucking started just slipping. It, a- Apple was the is was the innovative right. company, and, and it still for for the time being still is. We'll see what uh, right. what this decade has. But what. they've suffered a net loss of two billion dollars. Yeah, just like fucking threw that in the trash right there. Oh well, yeah, I mean, um, and it's it's for a lot of reasons though. They've been, in my opinion, they've been really lazy. I mean, I remember when Sony was coming out with some kick ass shit. Well, yeah, well, they started re- they started resting on their laurels, and then they didn't make, like, no one was making competitive products to the iPod. Yeah, and it's a real shame because Sony really should have, like, well, as soon as the, like, granted, they didn't have the foresight to make the iPod. Right, but I remember when they were asked about the iPod, they didn't believe in it. Yeah. And that was their big mistake. Well, because they were selling their, their mini disc. <laughs> Fucking I had one. Mini disc was kinda cool. They were really cool, but they were it was like It was like, it, hey, what if we had a CD? Like cool, like but it was smaller, cooler, and it came in its own case that protected it, but you never needed to take it out of the case. Right. The Genius. Major, but the major problem with that is is that it was just like laser disc. Like who wants to fucking deal with that shit? And, and the fact is like who had a mini disc drive? Me. You. That's and, it. Out of all the people I knew, I had the mini disc drive. And one other person had a mini disc player, and that was Ryan, but he bumped off my mini disc drive. <laughs> so me, out of like at least ten people back then. How much did it hold? It depended, like because on was, like the quality of the song. Yeah, right? because it depended because it was great because you can put on like. But was it like two CDs or one CD? Like no, no. As you far as put, like, like you can put like two to three. Two to three CDs. Two to three CDs on a mini disc. Okay, well, that's pretty good. <clears throat> yeah. Um. But yeah, they like they really should have because they had the Walkman. They, did they had the like I never had a Walkman and I didn't care for the whole Walkman line. I was like, I was like, tapes, whatever. Right. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I didn't really get heavy into stuff like that until about the mini disc, and then you know, of course, formats just started taking over that shit like crazy. Yeah, but um, they could have made like they tried later. They made some like really shitty MP3 players. Yeah, it was also called a Walkman that were that were Walkman, but they fucked the Walkman line. Oh, they yeah, could have made something awesome. We were like, like, yeah, you like I- iPod, but Walkman. You know Walkman. We are the definitive the, mobile music the way, experience. The way it felt was like, I don't know if you guys remember this, but the way it felt was like Apple gave you this great product. Because Apple then, didn't launch, the thing is, Apple didn't launch with the, uh, with the iTunes store. Right, I know. Okay. They had that like a whole year or more. Right. Okay. And then later, <clears throat> it wasn't even on... When it came out, it wasn't even on uh, Windows yet. So they had like all that marked to be like, boom, we're, we're the other guy. Right. Walkman. And it, they would have this, this is how it felt to me. I got a better analogy now. Okay. This is how it felt to me. It, it felt like, uh, was it Nikon? Makes cameras? N- Nikon, Nikon. Nikon, Nikon. They, they, they produced this, this innovative camera. And they're like, check this shit out. Right. This is going to rule cameras for the next decade. Mm-hmm. Right. And then Sony responds with the Jam Cam. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember the Jam Cam, but that's what it felt like. It felt like that. It's like, oh yeah, well we're Sony. Check this shit out in Jam Cam. We gave we gave you the Jam Cam. <laughs> it pretty much was that. That's yeah. exactly what it felt like. We were like, oh, way to go, Sony. It it pretty <clears throat> much was that, and it was bullshit. So like they entered in with. Like, being bad there. And then they started, like, they had the same type of uh, expensive computers as Mac. Right. 
but they didn't put in like anywhere near as much love. Right. Okay. So somebody doesn't have any love. They were always known as that cold business. Yeah, and then they had the PlayStation uh, Two, and then the PS3 was ridiculously expensive. Always. Okay. Always. All and the Playstations I thought were their launch price was too much. Really, I thought the PS2 was reasonable. Really? Yeah. How much was it? Three hundred. Four hundred. I thought it was four. Yeah. I thought four is too much. I think four was too much. A lot. I, of... I, I thought four like. Because it was quite a, a, a leap and bounce, and it was a DVD player at the time, which was like, you, you didn't have that. Right. Okay. Well, that's what they tried to do with the Blu-ray. They tried to do with Blu-ray, but the thing is, the market's going to streaming. Like, right. I don't give a shit. Like, the next, the <coughs> Xbox 720 is supposed to have Blu-ray in it. Bullshit, though. Like, I, I don't give the a only, the only I care about the, have, the storage. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. The only reason it's going to have Blu-ray is because of the storage space on it. Yeah, that's that's it. That There's that's cool, no but as far but I'm not gonna buy a Blu-ray. Like I might we if Redbox is still around, which I expect they will be. Like we might be like, hey, we'll get a, we'll a get Blu-ray. A Blu-ray. But yeah, whatever. for the most part, we're not. I'm not buying buying Blu-rays. Like everything, almost all the movies I have now, especially within the last three years, are uh, aside from what Tracy has bought because she'll still go out and buy DVDs and certain things. Well, yeah, because there's some things like you can't <clears throat> like a Disney movie will come out and that shit won't be around for 25 <clears throat> years. Right. Okay, so it's like you have to get that right. when it's available. But I've I've either watched, I've streamed, uh, downloaded, um, because there's no point anymore. You get these really high quality, nice streams and you're just like, why? Yeah. But I and, didn't bother with anything And it's like, else. you can get streaming, like, Every as long service as I have streams in a connection. I can watch it anywhere the hell I want. Yeah, every every service streams at least 720p. Mm-hmm. And grant, granted, it's not like it's not the good 720p because it, it is streaming and there's a there's buffer issues and speed issues, whatnot. So it's not as 720p as it would be from a disc. Mm-hmm. Uh, but okay, you know it's pretty good, and I think. I think the Zune store on Xbox is actually the only place you can stream 1080. See, I like the Zune. I really want it to be good. I just wanted to say that because... I, I think it will I, be good when the Zune is no longer a, th- like a thing, which it kind of really isn't anymore. Right. When it's just a service that you can just say, hey, I'm looking for this content, and they're like, hey, we got it. Yeah, okay. that, that, that's what it is. Like, I really liked the Zune. I wanted to, like... I wanted it to do better than it did. I owned a Zoom. But you remember just, that? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. It just it it just didn't. And, Zoom too, baby. Um, but what I want them to do is like what you were saying, like uh, when the Xbox Seven Twenty comes out, I want there to be some kind of Zoom service that is directly connected to my account there. Yeah, I mean they have it, like now. <clears throat> no, but I mean better, not just but, you know. But it'll be better because like Seven Twenty, the Seven Twenty is supposedly there's going to come with like Connect to. Right. Uh, but I also want it to, like, I want to purchase movies at, you know, a really high resolution and watch them on my uh, well, TV. Well, they, the, they do the renting service like Apple TV. Oh, do they? I didn't know so that. So it's like five bucks and it was like, boom, you got 1080p. Can you buy that, though? Because what I, what I also want, because, you know, we all, we all have a, a, a giant storage unit of just, like, DVDs from when we used to buy... DVDs and cassette tapes and stuff. Right. I still have one. I need to get rid of. I think they're going. I think the way things are going is that there's like two. There's three models for visual media. Right. Okay. Uh, in the living room, mm-hmm. which is you uh, you get it a la carte. Right. Which is like how Apple TV and right. Zoom is now. Is you see it, you spend five bucks, you watch it right now. It streams over the air. It's great. It's high definition. Well, I'm not just talking about rentals okay. though. Oh, hold purchases. on. Then there's uh, okay. Then there's uh, the purchase side of that because I believe you can purchase some movies mm-hmm. from Zoomarkless, but I don't think necessarily through the system. Right. Just like you cannot purchase a movie on the Apple TV, but you can go to the iTunes Store right. on your computer and purchase a movie. Right, and I, that's where I'm kind of saying like Zoom should kind of meld that idea. Like you and, can rent this, but also hey, okay. it's also available and then to purchase. and then there's the subscription model, which is Netflix, Hulu Plus. Right. Okay, which pay this monthly fee and we'll give you whatever we can get. Mm-hmm. Okay, and you'll have access to it whenever you want. And then no one's figured it out yet, but live TV right has to fig- factor in some way like everyone's talking about, oh, smart TV, smart TV is going to go somewhere. And everyone's kind of saying and live TV will go by the way wayside. I don't believe that. Okay, it's like radio. 
Right. You, TV only works because you turn it on and there's TV. Right. Not a menu to get to TV. Yeah. There's just TV. And you don't want what's on the TV, then you switch the channels. If there's nothing on, then you go to something else. Exactly. So there's some way they're going to figure that out, how to make that that good, to make yeah. that experience seamless. And they, Microsoft actually almost got it because it was going to be a cable box. The And in the UK, it is actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can use your Xbox as your set-top box, so you never need to turn it off. Right. But they couldn't get the necessary deals here in the U.S. Which is a shame, because I would definitely go for something like this. I love the idea of just having everything in the box like that. Oh, I, yeah. I don't like all the... Oh, yeah. if, all these I was totally things. set that if they're like, we got live TV here, I was going to be like, all right, fuck my cable. Right. Okay, I'll go spend like 70 bucks to get that nice like 360 remote mm -hmm. to actually have like a physical... Remote, definitely, and just be like, my Xbox is just going to be on like all the time now, and it's like that. That'll that part will suck. And but like, and like I said, your Xbox is, is always going to have a hard drive, so you can always purchase and watch movies. So instead of having to get up and like, it's a little computer, so I, like yeah. I can download something on the computer and like plug it in if I want. Well, not even that. Like you, you're, you, you're you're streaming through or you're switching channels, and like you said, nothing's on TV, so I'm going to watch a movie. Yeah. So you go into your Xbox menu, open up your movies. Things you've rented, things that you have purchased, you got a you got an entire drawer of just movies. Yeah, there it is. You, you go. I want to watch that. I want to watch Avatar like that. What I would love <clears throat> is for the ability to, like, while live TV is going, to request something, whether it be like I have to type in a search or I speak to it, mm -hmm. like Connect or Siri, uh, and be like, I want to watch the Pink Panther. Mm -hmm. I wanted to bring up thing and be like, hey, here's, we found the Pink Panther. Right. Okay. Uh, it's going to cost you four ninety nine. okay, to watch, or two ninety nine, whatever. Right. Okay, to watch that right now. Uh, do you want to do it? And I say yes, and it, I don't care what service it's going through. If it found it on Netflix and it's just going to start playing right now, if it found it on Hulu Plus and it's going to start playing, or if it's found it through Zune... Okay, or, or Apple TV, or however, wherever. Or even, or even if it found it just in the channels and you missed it when you were browsing. Yeah, or even if it just found I don't care where the content is. If it just gives me a way, like, hey, here it is right now. You want to watch it? Pay this amount, or it's free. Just fucking go to it. Right. Okay, done. Like, that will be, like, my, my dream goal. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because I don't want to have to be, like, told. And Xbox is kind of closest to this. Right now is I don't want to be told, hey, we found it, but it's a Netflix. Go fucking launch the Netflix right. app. Why not just open the shortcut to? Are you? Do you want to go into Netflix? Just play the video. Okay. Yeah. Well, Netflix is gonna always prompt you with a box. You know, do you want to do this action? You know what I mean. Okay. Right, but it doesn't need. It doesn't need to be like. You don't need to go through all the motions. It's just gonna say you you hit okay and you're you're watching it now. Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't need to see like this close. Then Netflix opens and then it finds the shit and then it starts playing. Doing the, just load the movie. Right. And then when it's done with the movie, go back to where I was. Exactly. That's what I want. Mm -hmm. uh, but we were talking about Sony. Yeah, we got we, we got, got way off track. We we're talking about how they failed at a lot of at well, at, at shit and. I guess we're kind of on topic because they are trying to get into the smart TV. They're doing Google TV things. Right. Like Google TV attempted that. You type in what you want, and it shows you it shows you where it's available. You still have to go to that thing, but it shows you where. So it's getting closer. We played with a Google TV once. I didn't like it. They fixed it. They completely like rewrote it. Okay, because this was about a year ago. Yeah, Google TV two is supposed to be like a lot better. It's not. It's not great. And uh, Neil I Patel uh, was bitching a lot about. The remote, right? For all Google TVs <clears throat> now, because uh, before there was no standardized remote, and now the market's kind of standardized the remote for a Google TV device, mm -hmm. which is on one side there's a keyboard, mm -hmm. the other side there's the typical you know directional pad, channel up, volume up, okay, uh, up and down, and a touchpad, okay, that acts as the mouse, right? Okay, and I think he's right. That's clunky. It is clunky. Well, the other one was clunky as hell too. Okay, like it looked like a fucking. Well, the other one, yeah, the other one was like a game pad, it, but it was it, it like, like it looked like, like the, the Jaguar uh, controller. Yeah, the ja it's... yeah, it looked like that, and was it? And then Logitech literally had 
a keyboard. Yeah. It literally came with a keyboard, like a laptop sized keyboard, and it was ridiculous. Yeah. I don't want a keyboard as my remote. I want a remote that's simple or or maybe even no if they can get to no remote. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if that'll I mean <clears throat> Connect seems to be working pretty good pretty good. Connect is working pretty good, surprisingly well. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for it. I know people were bitching that oh Siri doesn't work too well, but I used it a couple times, okay, like seeing the demo units. At in the mall, it's a loud place and it caught my voice pretty good. Yeah. But uh so I, we'll see. I want her to sound more like Gladys though. Yeah, that'd be cool. It would be really cool. I'm sure like if they ever gave like Connect like a voice, which I don't think they ever would, but if they ever did, uh, I'm pretty sure they'd be able to like talk to Valve and be like, hey, like get us a Gladys like voice pack for and people would be like, pay ten dollars, get Gladys. For I'd Valve. pay ten dollars for that. <laughs> That's the sad part is that I would pay ten dollars for a fucking voice pack. Yeah, I probably would, I would. for for Gladys. <laughs> like, and then, and then it occasionally insults you too. Okay, uh, it was like. Xbox, play, uh, play True Blood. Okay, you monster. Yeah. <laughs> I want to watch Food Network. Here you go, fatty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I think it'd be funny. Uh, but yeah, I'd definitely pay ten dollars for a Gladys. Okay. A after you, uh, after your, uh, your Food Network like program ended, and it's like, might I recommend the infomercial on Tybo? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Oh man, but yeah, but Sony's failing. Let's see what happens. Yeah, they got a C the. I think it's a new CEO. Is Kaz, it a new CEO? Kaz 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 Harai. Right. Okay. Anyway, he intends to fix it, and he had some good ideas. Okay, there was he like wanted to cut a bunch of costs, streamline a bunch of shit, scrap a bunch of projects that they're not working on. Right. I know that they're doing some good things already, like. Like, Sony Ericsson mm -hmm. used to be a thing that wasn't actually Sony that made the Sony Ericsson phones. It was Ericsson right. in conjunction with Sony. Right. But now they just fucking bought them out, and now it's all under just Sony. So that's good, because it's less confusing, because people are like, what is what is Ericsson? Okay. So now people buy Sony products everywhere, and they're all kind of similar. Right. Um they, I know they are, they find... They're also talking about reducing the prices of... Um... A lot of Sony products, which I find interesting, because Sony has always been fairly expensive. Yeah, and they're that's pretty good to make it a, a more decent price. They definitely sell a lot more, and I just want to give an example real quick about that because um, I work in I work for the Crocs company, the right. shoe store, and they recently raised the price of one of their shoes again from twenty nine ninety nine to forty nine ninety nine. This woman came in. Wanted three pairs of shoes. Mm -hmm. Each she thought would be twenty nine ninety nine. Right, big difference. Big difference for the season. They went back up to forty nine ninety nine. She left with one pair. She wanted three. Yeah. Well, sucks. Yeah. They uh, they they missed out on an extra forty bucks plus tax. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But I guess they're figuring that they'll sell those two other shoes eventually. Okay. I don't know. Uh, but you know, like clothing, I can see prices change, seasons change, styles right. change. Exactly. Okay. Like, <clears throat> like there's no seasonal TV. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying like, mm -hmm. usually when you make a good product for a cheaper price, you'll end up, you'll sell a lot more. Well, that's, that's what, uh, I mean, as long as you don't, hello. Yeah, as long as you don't cut any major good corners, time. you still make it like a really good product. That's that's know. been kind of Vizio's model is we yeah. make a pretty like solid TV, right. okay, a solid product, and we sell it for pretty cheap. And they're trying to break into computers actually. Really, I didn't know. That. Yeah, they're making these like uh, th they call them thin and lights because net netbooks like don't exist anymore. Right. So they're going everything. Everything's trying to copy the MacBook <clears throat> Air. Right. Okay, being full size that. but super thin. Right. Vizio is coming out with them. They're apparently really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, from what they showed at CES, like people were like, "How the sh how the hell did this happen? It's so good." Right. So, Vizio is going to become quite a big name at Walmart. I yeah, can, I can see that. Like they're already a big. Well, they're name, already but... a big name. Like you go into Walmart and there's fucking Vizio everywhere. Yeah, and now like 
now there's going to be a good computer you can get at Walmart. Because even before it was, you can get that five-year-old HP. Yeah, and it's like, no. Okay. <laughs> but now you're going to be like, or you can get this, like, pretty good Vizio with, like, an i5 uh, processor in it. And it's just like, how much is it? And like, same as that five-year-old <laughs> uh, HP. Like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Okay. And it's, like, super thin and light. And it's got, like, this really awesome uh, aluminum body. Oh, that's Like, nice. it, it's really, it's really I, slick. I have seen this. i got to see this sometime. Okay. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Sony and it's bullshit. We'll see what happens. That's what I'm, I'm interested to see what happens. Yeah. Because they, they were once great. Let's see if they can be great again. Yep. Uh, you got anything else? Um, running a little long. We are running a little long. I can't tell because for some reason this thing decided to tell me how long this is going in measures. Oh. And I can't read what a measure is. <laughs> like, maybe I should be able to, but I can't. Right. Uh, so, like, I, I, I click this thing here, and it's like, tuner, that. Oh, there you go. Oh, here we go. Found the clock. Okay, so we've been going for about an hour. Well, oh. it's going to be edited out. Still about an hour. Still about an hour. I mean, the only thing I guess we could talk about is, uh, Romney. But we're not going to talk about it. No, not that guy. No. You know why? Why? Because we ran out of tape. Yeah, we did. <laughs> okay, and you know what? Uh, <laughs> fuck it. Yeah. So. We went long anyway. Yeah, we, we went long. You don't want to stare at us too long. No. We can, uh. Blind you. Yeah. We're so, uh. Wait. Radiant. I don't think it's long enough yet. It didn't work. <laughs> too bad. Yeah. When it gets longer, you're oh, going to see wait, wait, I can, I can take off a hat, too. Yeah, but your hair didn't go anywhere. Your so, hair didn't go anywhere. I know. That's what I said. It's not long enough. All right. All right. So, um, yeah, this was <clears throat> episode 33. But in many ways, it was episode one. In many ways, yeah. It's Mainly one way. It was video. Right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Episode 33 of Recap Attack. Video episode one. One. But we're going to keep the numbering that we have. Yeah, definitely. 33. So, I mean, when you see on YouTube, they're like, oh my god, where's episodes one through 32? They're on recapattack.com. Right. Uh, you can find them all there. They're all audio, no video. That's right. So, <clears throat> deal with it. Uh, but, yeah, I think we're done. Uh, I don't have anything more to add. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we'll put links somewhere down here yeah. follow uh follow us on twitter you can follow me at ark munster that's a-r-k-m-u-n-t-a-s-s-e-r follow him at i'm on the go you'll never see a tweet well uh, you might see one yeah i was gonna say i i just can't get into it i tr i'm really trying i don't know what like i i, I just like i saw the service and i was like i get it and then no, I just the thing is like i get it i just can't get into it like i totally get it I just, it's just not, maybe it's just not for me. I don't know. Maybe, maybe because not. Because I, I use Facebook like crazy. Yeah, well, it's different <clears throat> from that. Yeah, but like, I post like, like nuts. <laughs> uh, maybe I should just switch my posting to Twitter and see how that works. See, I keep it between the two. Like, mm -hmm. I post different things to each one. My, my problem is my phone's really slow, so I usually just pick. It's usually Facebook. Uh, well. That might be the issue. That might, be the issue. that might be the issue. But <coughs> anyway, that's a discussion for another time. Right. Um, so yeah, that's it. We're that's done. That's it. Yeah. See you guys next time. <laughs> 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 <laughs>